Hey everybody! So I realized in my previous videos I've never actually introduced myself so you guys don't know who I am. So hi! I'm Diana. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm making shaker cards using MFT's Cheeky Monkey Stamp Set. I'm starting off with my Misty tool to stamp a couple of those monkey images and a bunch of those bananas. So I'm trying a thing where I'm making more than one card in a sitting that have similar designs to kind of like save time. Um, so there will be two cards here. Um, I'm stamping a bunch of those banana images because I wanted to use them as shaker components in my cards because I totally thought it would be really cute. I'm coloring all my images with Copic markers. The coloring is pretty straightforward so I'll just let my music play and you can watch me color. All of my Copic colors will be listed in the bottom left corner as I'm coloring. fussy cut these or like use dyes to cut them out but I have a new toy this was my birthday present to myself this year it's a brother scanning cut machine 
This is still relatively new to me. It's actually just my third time using it, so y'all get to see it in action. I put my images on the low tack mat and I loaded it into the machine. So I just let it scan and right now I'm just adjusting it so that it cuts a white border around the images. Now I'm pressing cut and letting it do its thing. I'm just jumping ahead so that the video doesn't become too long. The actual cutting though took honestly like less than two minutes. And here are my cut pieces. I'm bringing out my Misty again. I'm stamping out some leaves. I'm using leaves from Hero Arts for You stamp set as well as leaves from MFT's Mini Modern Blooms. I should have bought MFT's Leafy Greenery dies, but I didn't. I regret it. It would have been so awesome to use on this card. Now I'm just die cutting the leaves out with their coordinating dies. Next I'm taking MFT's Vertical Stitch Cover Up die and I'm running it through my cuddle bug. Here I'm taking some pattern paper and cutting it down so it will fit behind that blue cardstock piece I just cut. I'll be gluing it down to a piece of A2 size white cardstock which I'll be using as my card front. Multi matte medium, and I'm adhering sheets of acetate to the back side of my blue cardstock to make windows for my shaker card. So I arranged the leaves and the monkey to my liking, and then I took some glad press and seal to keep everything in place. Then I carefully turned it over and applied some Ranger Multi Matte to the back. Then you'll see me place it back on the front of the card and gently peel off the press and seal. Glad press and seal is pretty awesome and it keeps all of your die cut pieces in place while you're trying to position it. I'm putting some 3M foam adhesive to the back of the monkey just to give a bit more dimension to the card. taking MFT's Hello There die and I'm running it through my cuddle bug three times, once in black and twice in white. Now I'm using my Zig glue pen and I'm stacking the die cuts on top of each other with the black on top. I'm adhering the hello die cut to the front of the card, then I'm flipping the panel over to put some foam adhesive to the back. The foam tape will create a chamber for the shirt components to move around in. I'm taking the white and orange card front panel and I'm placing the banana die cut pieces, chunky glitter and confetti on the panel in a contained pile so that I can adhere the acetate piece over top with ease. To finish up my card, I'm just brushing the Hello die cut and the monkey's t-shirt stripes with my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Clear Overlay pen, then I'll be adhering the card front to the card base. a bit so hopefully you can see some of that shimmer 
So that's my card. Going through the same steps, I made a second shaker that's a little bit different, but basically the same. Hope you guys like my card for this week. Supplies are listed below for anybody interested. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.